this is how much this is just how much Logan hates his job here. He's like, you know what? I don't care. If something happens, good. Good. I'm done. I don't have to deal with this job anymore. Swimming through the ocean. <laughs> Dragging bombs around. Oh. 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 Remember when I said I was going to give this thing a whirl? I am flying. Throttle up. I'm going to hold W. Oh, come on. Lift up. Lift up. Whoops. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, this is Scrapman bringing you another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. We have gone into the next version of the Alpha. I think they're calling it Alpha 2.0, and there's been some updates to it. So what we're going to be doing is uh, going in. We can customize our character now, so we're going to see if we can make it look like me or not. And then we're going to try a mission. Apparently, there's some new missions. And then we're going to check out the workshop because uh, I saw some pretty cool stuff on there that I would not have the time to come anywhere close to to buildings. So let's get in and uh, continue where we left off, I think. All right, here we go. So we got our character, male or female. So we're going to go with male. The hair, does it have my hair? Uh-oh. No long hair, huh? Well, I guess this is the closest thing that we got to my hair, unfortunately. All right, how about eyebrows? What kind of eyebrows do I have? I'm actually looking at myself on my webcam right now. I think, um... Are th those are too angry, aren't they? I, I think I'm more like that. I don't know. Mustache, of course. Uh, 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 that, uh, that, uh, that one? Beard? Oh, oh boy. Uh, this is not gonna have my- Oh, hey, there we go. Perfect. Okay. And what else do we got? Base clothes. Um, I think just a, just a t-shirt is kind of my style. And let's go with the t-shirt I'm wearing in this video. There we go. How about shorts or trousers? What is wrong with my knees? And look at his arms. His arms are bigger than his legs. What is going on with this guy? Well, I guess I'll just go with black shoes. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I, I wear black shoes. Extra clothes. All right, what about a hat? What, was the, what do we have for hats here? Ooh, that's like a, is it, it's a captain hat. Hey, that kind of almost makes it look like I might have long hair underneath there. We might go for the fisherman hat. Oh, a police hat? What? Oh, here we go. I mean, I don't really have the, uh, the microphone there, but I have the headset on, so we could probably use a headset. And there's a shark cap, of course. <laughs> Some of these are so random. Umbrella diving helmet. Oh, boy. All right, let's go with the headset. All right, and we are in the game now. How do we... I forget how to zoom out. Oh, there we go. That's how you zoom out. All right. What is happening what is happening this is my boat what happened to my boat uh i guess we're gonna leave that there for now so let's see if they change anything about the environment here uh you can clearly see that our character is uh just as realistic as, as he's always been has great leg functionality look at those knees he doesn't even have any hips his hips don't even work hardly <laughs> Oh, that's right. We need to sleep to get our missions. I just got to make sure that everything is in its uh, designated place. Otherwise, you know, you can't sleep when, you're, when your room is just all messed up. So we're just going to do a little bit of this. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and pass some time here. New mission. Attend to stricken yacht survivors. Okay, so we need to, we need to attend to the stricken yacht survivors. What were they stricken by? Lightning? Interesting uh, time of day to do this. We're kind of almost sunset, not quite. The sun's about to be setting. Um, we still got a boat stuck in the ceiling, so let's uh, let's go to return to workbench and exit. Whoops! Uh, create vehicle, spawn. There we go. But actually, I wanted to modify this vehicle so we can make some modifications really quick. Because in the last episode, check out uh, the link down below where there'll be a little pop-up or something like that. In the last episode, we had to retrieve some boxes with this thing, and it was terrible. It was terrible because the boxes just kept falling out of it. So I think I'm going to add some, um, some way to contain the boxes. Whoa, so our inventory has been completely revamped, and it looks much different now, and this looks actually a lot easier to, uh, to navigate. So do we even have any doors yet? I don't think we have any doors yet. Toggle button, small connector, push button. I don't think we have any mechanical parts, unfortunately, so we're not gonna be making- we're not gonna be making a door just yet. 
as far as I know. All right, so I've made some adjustments. This should be much more able to hold blocks now, I hope, or boxes if we ever need to. But uh, we shouldn't run into that issue since our current mission only involves dealing with people, I think. I've also added some connectors to the back here, which should extend at about surface level. Um, and I can turn them on and off too. So that should help us if we need to retrieve a boat or anything like that. I'm still not sure how they work. I've never used them successfully before. And we got our lights in front. And yeah, I think uh, we'll see how this goes. They've changed the hydrodynamics as well as the aerodynamics of the game. So I'm curious if the boat will still be as effective as it used to be. And I kind of forget the uh, controls anyway. Let's save this really quick. All right, let's spawn it in and see how things go. Apparently they've also added... Oh, click to take to workbench. We can now retrieve our lost vehicles, people. The vehicles that we have lost out there in the world, we can now finally retrieve them. All right, so they've definitely made some good updates. Rescue one survivor or two survivors, so no problem at all. Two survivors are in the water after a billionaire's sailing holiday came to a premature end while steering over a dangerous reef. Does that mean that we have to worry about the dangerous reef? Water temperatures are very low, so every second counts as we spend our time reading this very, very, uh, very slowly. Lives are in the balance. It looks like we have 28 minutes to get there. And what is this? A winch. Oh, oh, we can get a winch. All right, let's go. Let's go get the winch. Difficulty one. Oh, now, did they have difficulty settings before? I don't think they did. That's kind of cool. Toggle active. All right, now we should be able to go forward. Let's go ahead and tab. Oh, wait, why am I not turning? Why is turning not working? Oh. Oh, oh, that's not good. Uh-oh. Go back. Go back. Go back. For some reason, our rudder's controls got reset, uh, so they're actually counteracting each other. Oh, look at me in the front. That actually kind of looks at, like me now. All right, let's uh, get back into the workbench here. Our rudders got reversed uh, in the update, apparently. Left. Right, all right, we got it. We got it now, and we are zooming along. We actually are less, we're, we're floating more than we did before. Our uh, our propellers are right at the right at the tip of the water there, right at the surface. Before the red line kind of marked where our, um, our buoyancy level was. So the extra changes that they made to the hydrodynamics clearly has made vehicles a little bit more floaty. So maybe we can add some more weight around the vehicle somehow. Uh, they have some weight um, blocks that we can add. So this is about 1.3 kilometers away. Let's check our map as we go, uh, see how far. That's not too bad, not too bad. So let's get, let's get going over there then. All right, we are coming up on the boat over here. I can see the boat. I can't see my lost survivors yet, but uh, that, let's see what this boat looks like. Let's see what kind of yacht this really was. Oh, I think I see them. They're on either side. All right, let's slow down a little bit here. Ooh, look at that thing. I actually kind of want to get out and swim. Let's see what it's like. All right, let's take a look at this yacht. This is a really nice looking yacht. This would take a very, only two motors and a single rudder. I feel like this would take a very long time to build for sure. But I don't like in the way it looks here. Can we, uh... Can we swim into the to the little area over here? Nope, it's too much side. Oh wait, nope, nope, there we go. Yes, there we go. What is this? What is that supposed to be? I wonder if we can download this yacht on the workshop. All right, well now that I'm done checking out uh, your yacht, I guess I'll come rescue you guys now. All right, we got the first survivor over here. Oh, and now the survivors look uh, more interesting. Interesting hairstyle. Interesting hairstyle. All right, uh, can I can have you follow me in the water? Yep. All right, let's see if the following works any better than it was before. They seem a little bit better, at least in the water. They're keeping up with me. And what if I have you follow me as well? All right, they're both following me. Now, can they climb ladders on their own? Let's find out. All right, guys, come on up. What? Okay, they have vastly improved the AI. So can I tell them to get in a passenger seat? No, it looks like I'll have to put them in there. All right, hold E to pick them up. We're gonna put them in the passenger seat. Hold E to pick you up, put you in the passenger seat. All right, you guys ready to go? Where are we going? Over there, I guess. 3.5 kilometers. Are you kidding me? 3.5 kilometers. Where are we going off the map to a place we've never been before? Wait, I see a two. There's a two over here somewhere. Oh, oh no, that's just them. That's just them updating on the map. All right, so we got a little ways to go. So, uh, let's 
cut to the, to the interesting stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the scrap boat. It is blue skies and clear open waters. If you look to your left, you'll see a couple of islands and open water. And if you look to your right, you'll see another island and some more open water. We're going to be arriving upon our destination in just a few minutes here to keep your legs and arms inside the boat at all times. That'd be great. Otherwise, we're going to throw you over and feed you to the sharks. All right, we are arriving upon our destination. Let's see if I can do a better job at parking my boat this time. Let's go ahead and swing around. Uh, uh, nope, apparently not. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, that was actually really good. Look at that. Just, I got to stop the boat. Stop the boat. There we go. There we go. Why is it wavy all of a sudden? Stop being wavy. Okay. All right. All right. Let's uh, let's get these people out of here. Do you think uh, you think they'll follow me? All right. Follow. Follow. Come on, guys. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You. You can do. You can do it. They can't do it. All right. Come here. There you go. Come here. There you go. All right, now let's see how well they follow me on ground, because before they weren't doing that well. Let's see what happens. Hey, they're doing it! They're doing it! They're following me! Look at them go! Look at them go! Oh, they actually follow my exact footsteps, pretty much. Yep, they actually- they literally follow my path that I take. So I can just do this crazy path, and it's like doing a dance. Look, now they're gonna complete my path that I just did. Oh, that was- it, These guys, they're smart. They, they know what to do. All right, open this door. Follow me in here, people. Do I win? Wait. Do I win? Do I gotta place them? Oh, stop following me. Stop following me. There it is. All right, we have gotten the mission completed. That wasn't too bad. Well done, Logan. My name is Logan? I didn't know that. Both survivors were rescued quickly and have been discharged from the hospital already. Well, oh, already? That They were just there for like a few minutes. Did, did I not need to take them to the hospital? The billionaire has a charitable heart. His donation will be reflected in your next review. All right. If I click here, click to take to workbench. Are you sure you want to take this vehicle back to the workbench? Actually, I'm suspicious. What if it takes the vehicle, but not me? Then I'll be stuck on this island. So let's cancel that. Let's test it out on a vehicle that's farther away that we don't need right now. All right, click to take to workbench. This is not... My workbench. Return to workbench. Okay, now exit. All right, it did work. Okay, so now we can do that to the other vehicles and clean up this place. There we go. I don't know why it spawns me over here for some reason with the vehicle under, I'm like underneath the map, but luckily I can just, wait a minute. Ugh. V to return to workbench. There we go. I can just jump up and grab it. And then lastly, but not leastly, is the, uh, the big one. Oh, that one actually went to the workbench without me. Wait, can I get into the workbench area? Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so uh, let's look at one more mission. We're just gonna see what it is. If it's interesting, we'll do it. If it doesn't seem that new or exciting, then we'll uh, we'll go straight to the workshop and see some of the crazy builds that uh, some of the workshop people have come up with. What? Okay, new mission. Recover two World War II era bombs washed ashore nearby. Is it really nearby, though? Is it really nearby? Is it really near? Oh, I should probably activate the mission first. All right, so here's the mission. Two unusual objects sighted by fishermen are suspected World War II era bombs washed up in the shallows of a nearby island. Bring them in before a private collector's swoop. I wonder, are they, are they live? All right, is it really nearby the island? That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I think we can do this. I think this is a mission we can do, and it sounds interesting. I want to go collect bombs and look at the sunset. This looks good. Okay. Woo! Woo! All right, and let's get back in our scrap boat and collect these bombs. Now that we have these walls up, uh, we should be able to not worry about them falling out of the boat. Oh, and they are this way. 1.3 kilometers. Not bad at all. We'll be there in no time. No time at all. It's going to be almost like we instantly teleported. The oh, here we are. Okay, we're here. I see bomb, but I also see something up here. I want to get up onto this island because there's a uh, there's a treasure up there, and I want to get the treasure to see what it is. But I don't know. I might actually need a flying vehicle to do that. I don't think I can get up here. We're gonna try the lowest point. Ooh, here's something. What if I can jump from my boat? 
Think I can make this jump? I can make that jump, right? I think I can make that jump. All right, and... Oh, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 don't fall in, don't fall in. No, 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 no. Uh-oh, there we go. And when the wave comes up and it's up, go. Nailed it. All right, where is this treasure? I know I saw it, there it is. So as far as I know, these things can be anything from money to parts to logic. Let's see what it is. Pick up. We got a less than blueprint. Um, not something I'm particularly familiar with knowing how to use, but we got something. Something is good. Whoa. Woo. Just jumped into my seat. That was epic. All right. Now let's get these bombs. Are they underwater? It looks like they're underwater. All right. First bomb right down here. All right. No, there's nothing, nothing weird or suspicious about this. Nothing at all. How do we get it? Oh, we got to grab it by the handle. Handle. All right. Come on. Come on. Are, are we gonna... Can we... Can can we climb a ladder with a bomb in our hands? Come on. This is actually... I'm trying to go up, I think. Space is up, I'm pretty sure. But this thing is just dragging me down. Am I doing this wrong? Yeah, I'm totally trying to swim up right now. Maybe... Do I gotta go to, like, land? I can't bring it up. It's too heavy. I'm, I'm not strong enough. This is apparently a little bit more difficult than I thought it was going to be. What am I supposed to do? All right, what if I keep you... Oh, now it's going to be falling back there. But at least I know I can get up to that section. So let's bring the boat over there. See if we can drag it onto the boat somehow. I don't know how to do this, to be quite honest. This is going to be an interesting problem-solving adventure. All right, we will park the boat right there and hope that all goes well. All right, we're gonna grab it by the handle. Gonna move on up here. Now the question is, can I use the ladder? Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. I am actually not sure how to do this now. I am honestly not sure if we can get this in the boat. I don't know how this is supposed to work. I can't jump. Come on, I just want you to be like stuck up here so I can then grab you from inside the boat. Now if I let go, oh yes. Yes, okay. Now if I grab, can I grab you from here? Yes, yes. All right, now I'm gonna leave you right there. And I'm gonna jump in the boat and can I grab you from here? Yes, come on. <gasps> How is that for problem solving people? How is that? So that's one bomb and I'm gonna leave the boat there because I think that's the only place I can really do this. All right, here's the next bomb. Just gonna drag this across the ocean floor like, like there's no no issue whatsoever. It's not like they told me whether or not this thing was even still active or live. This is how much this is just how much Logan hates his job here. He's like, you know what? I don't care if something happens. Good, good. I'm done. I don't have to deal with this job anymore. Swimming through the ocean. Dragging bombs around. Nobody. I don't even have a. I don't even have a partner. There's nobody even here to to socialize with. It's just me. Just me and my bombs. The handle's right there, Logan. Pick it up. Pick up the bomb. What is wrong with you, Logan? All right, we're just gonna have to move you closer, I guess. Handle. Yes. Yes. There we go. Come on. Bring it up. Bring it up. There we go. All right, I think we're good to uh, take these bombs back to wherever they need to go. Let's just make sure that everything's looking okay. Are they going to stay inside? I think they should stay inside. I think we got this. I think those additions of the walls were crucial in uh, completing this mission, so I'm glad we did that. Whoa, why did I just shift forward like that? Maybe I should have added a little bit of a lip on the front section, too, because they're just doing some weird things. I think when my, yep, when my engines come out of the water... Um, it jerks the boat forward a little bit, which causes the bombs to do a little bit of a lurch, but I think we're okay. All right, we got not that far to go, so this shouldn't take very long at all. And uh, after this, we're going into the workshop. We're going to spawn, you know, maybe two what, two or three creations and see what, see what they do. All right, and convenient enough, we have to actually take it back to our own island, so then we don't have any traveling to do after that. Which I guess we don't have to do much traveling. Ooh, anyway. So what do we get? We got an artificial horizon. A memory register blueprint and a 1500 Dara. Oh, okay. 
So let's go ahead and park our boat. Wait, they're just going to keep the, the bombs didn't disappear. I got the credit for it, but I'm keeping the bombs. Okay, cool with me. Sell them on the black market later. All right, so I am going to save my game. And we're going to head over into sandbox mode and see what we can play with. All right, here we are. We are in creative mode, and I chose a random character. This is the character that I that uh, the game generated for me. So that's kind of funny. So uh, I think, yeah, we're, we're ready to just spawn something in and see what happens here. So let's go to the workshop. I've already subscribed to a couple of things. Let's see what we got. All right, let's start off simple. Let's just start with a car. I've never seen a car in this game yet. So, um, oh, did I just add something? I just totally added something. So we're gonna spawn in this car and see what it does. So unfortunately, this is somewhat disappointing. It doesn't show me the description or the maker of the car as far as I can see. So that is unfortunate. Um, here, let me, I'm gonna bring it up though. All right, here we go. So the car is by RoboJohn. And now I have the controls. Engine on, lights, three is handbrake, interesting. Let's give this thing a whirl. <laughs> I look like a derp. All right, so two was lights. Wow, that's a lot of lights. Uh, one was engines on. We can see some logic gates in the back here. I wonder what the logic gates are actually even for. Whoa, why am I turning automatically? All right, turn that way. Interesting turning mechanism. Oh, oh, what is that? What is that in the front there? Looks, oh, it's a handle, but when I turn, wait, do these wheels just keep turning? That's kind of ridiculous. That's a little ridiculous. All right, well, let's go ahead and start driving. All right. Driving physics is very strange. Very strange indeed. Right, let's try this. Let's try this one more time. Oh, we have a little gas indicator. Whoop, and we flipped again. You know what? I think I might be able to flip myself back. You ready for this? I'm just going to keep turning. Whoa. Oh, uh, oh, uh. remember when I said I was going to give this thing a whirl? I am flying. And it worked. That is exactly what I planned to do. That is exactly what I planned to do this entire time. All right, three is handbrake. Oh, all right, let's go really, really fast and use the handbrake. Oh, apparently the handbrake is a toggle. All right, ready and handbrake. <laughs> I had a feeling I was going to flip over, but now I can't. See, am I in the water? What is going? Okay, all right. Well, that was a uh, that was an interesting experiment. Let's uh, return to the workshop, and uh, let's see what else we can come up with. We're gonna go ahead and load something different. All right, let's try a helicopter. No, let's try a boat. Like we're gonna do, we're gonna go with a boat next. Wait, am I gonna spawn the boat inside of the garage? Ooh, how about a submarine? All right, what happens if I spawn in the submarine then? Wait, actually, let's look at what's the logic. Oh, there's a lot of connectors going on. See, I have no idea. I have no idea what's going on in here. Let's spawn it. Of course it spawns in the garage. How do we get it to spawn in the water? All right, well, unfortunately, for whatever reason, I cannot figure out how to spawn this thing over in the water. I don't know if I'm missing something, but uh, I just... I, I, I don't know what to do. But I guess we'll have to wait to do boats until I can figure out what's going on. Maybe there's like some other... This one. Click to travel here. Let's see what's over here. Whoa, what is this? We're on some kind of like tower. Look at this. Look at this place. This place is crazy. Woo, look at that tower. Look at that. This is awesome. Oh, is this the garage? What about the water? I want to spawn in water. Look at this hangar. What? Is this a rock climbing wall? They have a rock climbing wall in here? What does- we could play- we could play basketball- is that a basketball- is that really a basketball? Can I throw it? Oh! Yep, there we go. Oh! Oh, we could play basketball, people. We could play- why do they put the TV in the middle of the basketball court? Alright, ready? Here we go. Here we go. We're going for- we're going for a half court shot here. Half court shot. And... Alright, apparently I can throw it a lot farther than I thought I could. We're just gonna play basketball for the rest of this episode. Like, this is- this is kind of fun. All right, ready? Full court shot. Full court shot. Apparently, I don't know my own strength. Right, let's just try for the layup. Ready? We're going for the layup. And... Woo! All right, we got we got to try a long shot, though. I, I got to see a long shot sink. All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to go. I'm going to aim straight this time. Oh! 
Oh, that was too much. Full court, here it goes. <gasps> oh, are you kidding me? I'm gonna be the next, I'm gonna be the next dude perfect. Full court, we did it. Okay, now let's spawn something in here. Here's the workbench. Um, it looks like we're only gonna spawn inside this area. Get whoops, I didn't spawn something in load. Uh, the submarine error. It's too large for this edit area. All right. Well, apparently this is not the place to be either. Let's try a helicopter. Let's just try this thing. Too large. Let's try a smaller helicopter. How about uh, how about a plane? Let's try a plane. All right. There we go. There we go. Okay. And. All right, let it let us see what this thing is all about. We got some stairs right here. How kind of him. Of course, it's dark now. Ooh, fancy little door. Let's enter the pilot seat here. Is that to open or to close the door? Open up brakes. Door open, close. There we go. Let's take off the brakes, maybe. Uh, let's zoom out. Zoom out just a little bit. All right, so one is throttle up. None of it's working. Ooh, there goes our rudders for our wings. But... The engine isn't working. Oh, there's a key. It's a key right there. Engine switch. All right, so we'll turn that off. Yeah. Okay. I think we are ready to go. The, uh, it said we don't need a lot of space to take off. However, I, we don't have a lot of space at all. I think I'm ready to go. Throttle up. I'm going to hold W. Oh, come on. Lift up. Lift up. Whoopsie. Okay, we're up in the air. Okay. It's working. It's working. It is working. This plane actually works. All right. Oh, boy. It is windy. Do you hear the wind, people? I am not doing this. I don't know what to do. I'm going to throttle down a little bit. We're going to throttle down. Um, oh, we are going straight up. Come on. Come on. Level off. All right. How about this? We're going to gonna slow down. Maybe go in reverse. There we go. We're going in reverse. We're doing the weird flippy thing. We are so high right now. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. We're flying though. I don't know if it's the aerodynamics or if we're in the middle of a storm. I'm in like a cloud right now, so it could just be that. But I'm trying to go down. All right, you know what? You know what? Here we go. I'm turning the engine off. Oh, I got out. I got out. Help. Help me. Oh, that was close. Can I not? Engine switch. Use engine switch. I want back down towards the ground. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now forward, fast, towards the ground. No, 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 towards the ground. Stay steady, towards the ground. All right, I think we're more stable now. I think we've gone above the storm, but we're going to probably go back into it and go crazy. We can see the sun through the earth. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, we're going back into the wind. We're going back into the wind. I don't know what to do at this point. Except, uh, turn our throttle back down again. Alright, I think we're getting closer. I don't know exactly how close to the water we're getting. I don't know if we have an altimeter in our cockpit here. 49, 50, 52. That's our speed, I think. Altimeter, 600. Yeah, there we go. 640, 630. Alright, yeah, it's, it's going down. It's going down. It is too dark, though, right now. It is... I cannot see a thing. Alright, it is dropping fast. Wait, What? Oh, those are clouds. I thought those were islands. All right, I just put the throttle up a little bit. Um, I th oh no, I put it backwards a little bit. My bad. Go forwards. Go forwards. Where's the horizon? Oh. Well, that was that. That was a exciting experiment, wasn't it? So uh, I think we're going to call the episode here as we uh, plummet to our uh, the bottom of the ocean for our eventual doom. I mean, I'm sure we have a little bit more oxygen left in the cockpit here, but we are definitely not in a good position. So uh, the rescue, the, the rescue worker needs a rescue. So let's uh, hope that they send some help eventually. And uh, we'll, we'll catch we'll catch you back in the next episode, and uh, we'll see what happened to um, this is not Logan. This is just some crazy guy who stole a plane and immediately regretted his decision. 
So uh, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit that like button and comment down below what was your favorite part. Leave a timestamp that always helps out. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.